So part of this, well, you had to do two things, a 15 minutes presentation and a poster. So this is the poster that's gonna give you an idea. So that's an eye, that's an, that's an eye chart, but I'm gonna break it down for you, okay? Um, so what is this stuff? Uh, about 2010, I came up with this idea that there's a relationship between the ionosphere and seismic activity. Seismic activity are what creates earthquakes. What is the ionosphere? The ionosphere is a, is a, is a distribution of charge that's suspended above the Earth's surface, somewhere between 100 to 1,000 kilometers. It's coming from interaction between the sun and Earth. That's what that is showing. So if you have waves of sun coming to Earth, eventually they free up enough electrons, this electron accumulate somewhere in space, and that's what we call the ionosphere. Now that ionosphere has been used for a lot of great purposes. It's used for UHF, VHF communication, and all that. At the same time, we find that they, when there is seismic activity that's gonna take place, this concentration of electron is changing, okay? At least that's the theory we have events. So, so what is the earthquake, okay? So typically, the, the theory that we have about earthquake is that you have, the earth is made of tectonic plates. So it's a bunch of plates that, shift, that are shifting around very slowly, millimeter per second type of thing, very, very slow. So you need that kind of shifting around for Earth to breathe. But when they shake too much, which is when earthquake occur, they produce what we call earthquake and they produce all that devastation. So the idea is to understand what makes them shake more than they're expected. That's one. And second, what is the connection? What is the possible connection between that shaking and charges suspended in the atmosphere, right? So that's kind of a mysterious thing. So, so I'm gonna move on all these. So about uh, 2010, I was, what, what uh, gave me the motivation for this work, I was watching a YouTube video uh, of a group that came up that seemed to have uh, talked about uh, when rocks are under stress, they free up electrons. They free up free electrons. So I say, huh, if they free up free, free electrons, where do they go? And if it's coming from work under stress, so that could be something that's related to seismic activity because the idea is that when you're gonna have seismic activity, you're gonna have work that are under stress. And the way they are under stress is three ways. You can see it here. They'll be sliding across each other like that. That's what they call transform, or they're sliding away from each other. 